the Irish Constitution, balance between the individual right, to freedom and liberty, and with the law enforcement measures, which are required to bring criminals to justice, by providing the authorities, with the arrest and detention power. Let's have a look. An arrest, means the seizure of an accused, by taking him into custody, when the police has a suspicion, backed up by evidence, that the person in question is breaking the law. And while it's the police role, to arrest people, citizens may also arrest a suspect, when there is a risk, that he will make a getaway, but subject to handing him over immediately to the guarder. On the other hand, the guarder has wide arrest power, as the police can arrest a suspect, even without having a warrant to do so. In addition, the police can enter premises, without a warrant, in order to arrest a suspect, but subject to the occupier consent, and provided one of the following criteria is met. First criteria, the guarder must have observed the suspect, entering or living in the premises. Second criteria, that the guarder believes, that the suspect is breaking the law, or that he fears, that the accused will escape, before the police can get the arrest warrant. In contrast, the arrest is invalid, when there is no ground nor evidence, for the police to believe that the person is breaking the law. As a result, any detention pursuant to that arrest, will be unlawful, and once arrested, the accused must be brought at the earliest before the district court, to be charged with the offense. In all cases, a suspect is entitled to the following rights, on arrest and during detention. The first right, to remain silent, and to be informed about it. The second right, a suspect must know, the reason of his arrest. Third, the right to consult with a lawyer, and to legal aid, if he cannot afford one. In addition to the right to privacy, during legal consultations. Fourth, to get the essential care, like the right to food, to rest, and to receive medical treatment. And lastly, the suspect has the right of access to the courts. As a result, the police failure to respect the suspect rights, will render the arrest and the detention invalid. In this case, the suspect can apply to the High Court, for a habeas corpus, by challenging the validity of his detention. And if the court is not satisfied that the detention is lawful, the judge will order to release the suspect immediately, 